Well, I, I have, uh, it's funny, I was, I, uh, Rick Baker is a friend and I was asking him, I was like, well, surely you have cut your hand many, many, many times. And he was like, no. <laughs> I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, how many stitches do you have? And I was like, maybe 70? <laughs> They're all in the left hand because I'm always holding the tool in the right hand. <laughs> um, I actually had a proud papa moment. Uh, one of my sons, thing one, um, works, <laughs> works in a kitchen now. And he called me up a couple of weeks ago. So my boys are out of the house. I'm an empty nest. Uh, and, one, and, and this particular night, it was like a Friday night, I get a call from Thing 2, and he wants to talk about stuff. And it was nice to get a call from my son in another city just asking for some advice. And I hang up with him, and Thing 1 calls, and he's like, hey, I'm on shift, and I just tore off a good portion of my pinky knuckle on an old mandolin. And it's in the middle of the shift, and I don't want Chef to have to do without me. So if I meet you at the cave, could you stitch me up? <laughs> I was like, I am such a proud papa right now. Um, we didn't have to stitch. I have the sutures. I, I, I was ready, but uh, we, we were able to fix his cut with butterfly closures, which are, really, you should all have butterfly closures in your kit. Because uh, the, I've had several clinics butcher, literally butcher uh, stitches for me. But I, I do a much better job. Well, for the first time ever in public, um, oh. I've, I've set myself on fire twice <laughs> in the workshop. Um, and I will quickly relate to you the first time. My wife has put me out both times. Um, <laughs> That's and this not is not a metaphor. No, this is a full flame up. Hey, um, I, we we won the contract to make the the teen teenage mutant ninja turtles for a travelling show that was going to travel around New Zealand, uh, which was fabulous. It was a great breakthrough job for us. We were um, in our early twenties, and it was uh, a long, long time ago—27, 28 years ago, whatever the maths is—and. Uh, but they only gave us 12 days to do it. So we sculpted them in clay over a mannequin, we plaster molded them, we poured them in slush molded latex, and as you all know, if we'd, they'd just been dressed in those, they would have been these floppy rubber gumboot-like structures. So we laid them with, uh, we, we hand laid in foam that we put in with contact adhesive, we call it F2. We had been awake, I don't know, we're probably in the fourth day, it was the last night before we had to drive them to Auckland with no sleep, which is 10 hours away, and I'm laying in the foam, and I was using a heat gun, not a hairdryer, big mistake, and it was maybe three or four in the morning, and I fell asleep. And, I was, and of course, as you all know, heat guns go, like this, which oh, yeah. is the perfect sound, but you just, and I went, <laughs> and of course the heat gun set fire to the F2 and the suit caught on fire and I'm asleep inside it <laughs> and the crazy thing is I was so tired that it wasn't the fire that woke me up it was my wife with the uh, fire extinguisher going <laughs> and although I Pretty, I had to wear a lot of uh, salve. Uh, the thing that upset me the most is I had to start all over again. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so yes, we all. Is that the only per time you're going to set on fire you're going to tell us about? No, the other one I'll leave <laughs> for another day. Okay. That's, that, that's even more humiliating. So, uh,